Alrighty guys, this is your boy E Hidden World, man. We got some bad and good news. The good news is that um, uh, I got some more stuff, content for you guys. You know, uh, that's always good news. Uh, big bad news. Um, my channel got hacked. So, uh, no more E Hidden Worlds now with, with something completely different. Uh, it's still E Hidden World, but it's not the same channel. It's a new channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys a Game Boy live stream pack, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is very unfortunate. I'm sad. I really am. I don't know what to do. I've been sitting here depressed with no shirt on in this heat, just killing myself basically. Um, but um, yeah, guys. Uh, fuck, fuck, and fuck. Yes. Unfortunately. Um, yeah. So no more, no more old channel. No more Universal Gaming. None of that. Um, I have a new channel. It's still titled E Hidden Worlds. It just doesn't have the content that you know that you guys are used to, and uh, I apologize for that. Um, another uh, real, the real good news is uh, we'll be doing uh, a lot of the live streams, so you'll be able to see a lot of your games alphabetically. Um, I did just buy this new uh, PlayStation One game called uh, Bolfos. Um, it's pretty much it's a limited edition type of game, uh, Japan only. Uh, very, very dope, actually. Uh, as you can see here, it's one of those black discs, but um, very, very, very good game. Um, but yeah, that's what I just wanted to tell you guys. So uh, yeah, don't hit me up on my other channel no more. Just slide on over to this new channel. When I upload this video, you'll know. Um, as I upload more videos, people will start to catch on to the fact that uh, this is a new channel. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I just want to drop this before I drop this Game Boy live stream. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys do, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And as always, fans, let's get into it. At least big hopes for it, you know. Yeah. 
basic minute. looks nothing like a turtle to me.
enjoyed it. Second game by Vic Tokai. They've made some good games in the past. Not as good as Atlas, but they're up there with that type of company in terms of games. Um, they're pretty exclusive, I, I want to say. I don't really know too many about Vic Tokai games, but I know they did have a lot, I think, for the Mega Drive. Um, so the Sega Genesis, whatever you want to call it, depending on which region you are. I'm not too sure about uh, the Super Nintendo. I know DPS made a lot of games with them. Um but uh, yeah, we're going to play this on uh, normal. I could play this on hard, too. It's really not that hard of a game, point blank, period. Uh, you know, due to limitations, it's really just a basic-ass, like, shmup game. Uh, there's more on the system. Like, there's way better ones on the system. This happens to be an okay one, a good one. Um, as we're going through the A, the alphabets, uh, through the list, we're, you know, playing all the games that I'm not going to let's play. And then let's play all the games I am going to let's play. And these are all going to be A games. So, um, yeah. Sometimes there might be too many uh, games that I want to play, so there might be more than one live stream of the same alphabet. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Don't be confused. Like, I've been watching the same video twice. You know, I'll put a part two or something like that to let you guys know. But this is Aerostar, or Aerostar, however you want to say it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to sit here. I'm going to play normal here. This is actually licensed by Nintendo, so. Um, this is actually somewhat. Uh, you can jump in the game. You can still meditate. 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 Oh, shit. Talking too much on the content. So, yeah, when you start off, you have a visibility thing. You start off in the game. I suck. <laughs> yeah, this will make the game a little bit more funner. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Oh, <laughs> 
Hopefully this ain't a fucking shit boss. Which they usually always are in shit boss. I've never not heard of it. pretty easy, but it, it's a first one. So. Star.
Oh, wow. Okay. The detection is uh, strong.
can't hit that fucking block, bro. I keep forgetting I have to let this.
Bitch outplayed me. Altered space, an isometric uh, top down, somewhat not 3D game. It plays like if you ever played the uh, Ultimate Games for the Super Nintendo, it has the same format as that. Uh, I feel very very is actually really uh, that's, that's the only That's as far as the stories you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, uh, you can see what buttons you use. B is to actually take any object that you need. Um, so you can do things like mid-air, uh, jump. Uh, that kind of helps. Uh, it gives you like that boost. See, it allows you to jump over obstacles that normally would be hard, uh, hard to reach. The game is uh, very pixelated, so and the only way to capture something is if you stand on top of it. Robot, it will hurt you. Oops. Uh, so you gotta go around and collecting various objects. So right now all I have is a stun gun. Uh, so... Right here we would kind of use the stun gun. We gotta get this alien. Damn it, I forgot how to use the stun gun. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to use that, but, um... Okay. 
Okay, it looks like I just, uh, I just glitched out, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, I just, I just clipped the frame and I glitched out. Um, that is altered space for you guys. Uh, it's not a complete game. It has some bugs. Um, so, yeah, nothing I can do about that, guys. Yeah, the game is very twitched out. <laughs> uh, we're on to the next game, then, guys. We'll play some Asterix for the uh, for now. Uh, this is one of the better Hudson games. One of the adventure islands. I know you guys are kind of mixed up with that game because uh, the franchise in general, uh, it's kind of like how Final Fantasy over here and over in Europe are two different Final Fantasy. You got Final Fantasy 2, which is like Final Fantasy 3, and such and such. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this is the best one I've ever seen. It's kind of the Wonder Boy series. Uh, Wonder Boy has been in other countries such as the PC engine and I think the Mega Drive. The Super, Super Master System as well. Uh, this is a good child and this is kind of like its own book. It's not what it's supposed to be like because Wonder Boy is obviously really good for him and so. Uh, without further ado, let's just hop into the game. Action platformer. I did want to let's play this one day. But it's, uh, it's too Mario-ish for me, and it's, it's, hard. it's, it's very hard. I mean, I'm not going to deny the challenge, but uh, this game is really... If you don't know, uh, if you don't know uh, what you're doing, you know that you're just doing some certain things in this game. It just becomes really impossible to do. This is one of those games that I don't take slow. I did make a time.
Too, so I think number one and number three is the bonus I'm not 
So that's how far I could get just by natural uh, playing this game for the first time. And, uh, not bad, but not good either. Alrighty, let's get on to the next game, guys. Alright, now we're back to licensed by Nintendo games. This is Asterix. Probably most people know about them. It's kind of like a Duchess German type that came out really over there, not really over here in America. So a lot of people really don't know about this series. Um... But they've had remakes on damn near every single console you can think of. Um, a lot of handhelds, specifically, because it's really more of a handheld game than it is like a platformer. It plays better on handhelds, just of how simplistic it is. Um, the Game Gear had it, PC Engine had it, uh, Mega Drive, Sega Sega Master System, um, the Lynx had it. Um, I think, I don't know, Neo Geo didn't have it. Um, Super Nintendo had it. Uh, regular Nintendo had it. Uh, Game Boy Advance, I think, had it as well. Had the 3D version of it. Nintendo DS had it. This game is all over the place. I think it's made by, like, two de two developers, which, by the way, uh, these guys have made an engine for the GBA that uses the same engine as... Well, it's a 3D engine, okay? And it's, it's licensed... Um, by the, these two guys, which is their company or whatever. I don't know if it's Ray Light Studios or some other shit like that, but uh, these two guys have their own engine 
and it gives it this uh, asterisk and oblix a 3D look on the GBA, which looks fucking amazing. Um, there's also the same engine that they used on Driver 3 to give that whole town feel to it. Overall, they're a pretty good fucking company. They, they know what they're fucking doing. Um, so, yeah. Obelix has vanished. The Romans have confirmed his, confirmed his capture and taken him to an unknown destination. Track them down and find Obelix before Caesar throws him in the, for the lions. Poor thing. So you, you don't stop in place and you smile.
think uh, last two can see the mission was probably a better game than this. But it, it, it's a game nonetheless. She sounded so dope. Uh, I think that adds a little 
of an iteration to it, I guess. Going up and down a little slower, but left to right, he's like a lot faster. Knows what Lolo is. I want to say he's like a pinball. Uh, a low budget pinball. <laughs> he's ugly as fuck, I'm gonna say that much. He's not something that you want to look at too often. Can do it fast enough. I'm dumb. This is my last game. I don't know. I think all the other games are just coming out with me. Whatever, we got four last players, so. Uh, the next one I will be doing for you guys will be. Uh, not for the, uh, the Super Nintendo. The next one is going to be on the Super Nintendo game, so. Stay tuned for that.
Excuse me?